I hope my fans love your new look as much as I do. Hi, Rob. Hey! Huh? Okay, everyone, put your hands together and get ready to make some noise for Rob Hunter! Your granny? Uh, Sweetie, this gym only offers the latest in cutting edge training regimen. Submersive hydrocycling. Zero graph power lifting. Wow, they sure take their workout seriously around here. I can get all the reading materials I need for my new school. Hmm. Uh. Pardon me. Can you tell me where you keep your books? Oh, we don't carry books anymore. They scare the customers away. You know, print is so last century. But we do have these 24 karat gold bookmarks, pure silk runway ready book bags, and of course, our five star gourmet reading cafe. <laughs> You need to know is that they're too expensive for you. That is like so rude and so chic. I just love Beverly Hills. Assets will reach target in T minus 10 seconds. Cluck, cluck. The chickens have left the roost. I repeat, the chickens have left the roost. Time to put Operation Sushi Roll into effect. Are you completely sure about this, sir? Sure, as tea time is 4 p.m. Activate chain of command.
has attitude in Beverly Hills. Well, maybe it's just trying to get back to the ocean. Apparently, the ocean's this way. Run for it! <laughs> Ourselves. Um, I'm Sam. Hi, I'm Alex, and you guys rock back there. Thanks. I'm Clover, and aside from the major drama we just went through, it's a total pleasure to meet you both. Yeah, you know, we could go and have a ginger avocado milkshake to forget about our emotions. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Very well, then. Oops, almost forgot. Accessories like these don't grow on trees. For you, Mandy. <gasps> you can take a big step back. I have a polka dot on stripe restraining order, which you have clearly just violated. Trample the football captain's heart. Shake down the geek squad for homework assignments? Set those on my schedule for later. Right now, I've got something else in mind. All new students need to totally report to the principal's office like an ASAP. Uh, sorry. Hmm. doing here I go here <laughs> I just transferred awesome me too me three okay not to get all horoscopy but hello isn't this like the biggest cosmic coincidence of the century totally it's almost like we were meant to hang out together <clears throat> uh -oh. I don't suppose you ladies could break away from your fraternizing to meet your new principal Oh, you must be Miss Scritch. Uh, my name is Sam, and I just wanted you to know that in anticipation of my classes, I've gone on a few field trips, written a term paper, and done some advanced summer reading. Oh, wow, Sam. Prepared much? Yeah, you must be, like, a big-time brainiac. Well, that's all very interesting. But this school does not look favorably upon grade grubbers. Huh? But I... And... Just because you're new here does not mean you'll get any special treatment. I'll be watching you. Hmm. Enjoy your time at Beverly High. <laughs> Is it me, 
Or is Miss Screech a real witch? Let's just say she's about as friendly as a jail guard. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope some of the other BH peeps are nicer than she is. Hola, newbies. I am Mandy, in crowd ambassadress of Bev High. Mm. I insist you let me buy you a first aid double soy chai at the in school latte bar. Sure thing. Thanks. Sounds great. I can't believe we've only been here 10 minutes and we're already in the in crowd. I hope you ladies like extra foam. My middle name is Foam. In that case... Huh? Such an unfortunate set. Hmm. I have at least ten backup outfits stashed in my locker. Ten outfits? Now that's what I call resourceful. Chuck Clover, you're like a one woman wardrobe department. But before we change, shouldn't we do something about Mandy? Uh, we'll deal with her later when she like least expects it. <laughs> oh. <gasps> um, either that coffee just seeped into my central nervous system, or we're having major earthquake! Or maybe it's another one of Mandy's evil tricks! <laughs> Quick, girls! Form a human chain! <laughs> hey, what do you know? My plan worked! I'm not so sure these girls have what it takes to be spies, Jerry. Yeah, I agree. They're a bit rough around the edges, but I assure you they're whoop-worthy. Our tests confirm that they each possess the spy gene. The only genes these girls appear to have are designer genes. Nonetheless, their typical schoolgirl profile is the perfect cover. The sweat sensor lie detector? The human memory eraser? Gloss? Global satellite surveillance system? I don't know, girls. I get the feeling this place is no joke. Whoa! Check this out! Huh? What's the 911, Sammy? Yeah, what's so exciting about a bunch of boring office supplies? Huh? <gasps> Whoa! Hey! Oh! <laughs> Rough around the edges. More like jagged. Nothing a little training won't fix. The aliens are down in the freezer. <coughs> We're agents. Hi, girls. <gasps> and totally cute ones at that. <laughs> oh, I wish I'd remembered my headshot. 
We're not talent agents. We're secret agents. I'm Jerry, and this is Tad. Welcome to Whoop, girls. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care who you are. I demand to know why we've been brought here. And I demand to know what a Whoop is. <gasps> Whoop stands for World Organization of Human Protection, a top-secret institute aimed at fighting global crime. You're here because you've been chosen to join our elite group of international spies. You're right. Just because we live in Beverly Hills now doesn't mean we're stupid. Very true, Clover. After monitoring you, Sam, and Alex for years, I've determined that you have quite an aptitude for espionage. So not only did I arrange for you to be transferred to Beb High, but I also arranged the sushi test you took earlier, during which I must say you displayed a tremendous amount of potential. Oh, you monitor us? Hello, creepy much. Okay, that's it. I'm calling the cops. If you ladies do not wish to spies, you don't have to. Well, that's good, because we so don't. Yeah, moving to a new city is stressy enough. The whole extracurricular spy biz just doesn't fit into my schedule. Hmm. Um... Yeah, speaking of schedules, we really need to be getting back to school. Yeah, I understand. Hmm. But before I let you go, I have something for you. It's a Whoop wallet phone. If you happen to have a change of heart, you can use it to contact Jerry. <sighs> One more thing. Under no condition are you to mention what you've seen or heard here to anyone. Or what? You'll have us eliminated? <laughs> <laughs> of course not. We stopped doing that in the 90s. We'll have you one-way teleported to Siberia. Trying to tidy up the hallway. <laughs> As I told you before, your pathetic attempts to score points with me will not get you ahead at Beverly. Now get to class. Bye, girls. See you tomorrow. to snipe at you behind your back out of sheer envy. Yes, yes, and heck a yes! Then the fabulizer is the process for you. Observe the elevated moisture content eyes with reduced blink intervals for optimum sparkle. The perfectly arched right eyebrow, custom engineered to a sumptuous 47.2 degree angle. The dual action dimples with optional cleft chin. The ultra-white perma-smile, fortified with 15% extra teeth. The platinum streak tear that delicately covers one eye for that mysterious peekaboo appeal. And finally, the attention-grabbing cheek mole. Now available in three colors, with a visit to one of our diamond-studded velvet-lined boots and three easy payments of only $19.95, this fabulous look can be yours. Soon, they will all belong to your fabulous nest. <laughs> Where am I? What is this place? 
<laughs> you can't run away. You will be spies. 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 You are working for me. Working for Whoop. Spies. 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 What? Oh, what a nightmare. Oh, okay. Your system has been infected by the Whoop huh? virus. Anymore, Whoop has officially relocated you. I'll have the Hickama Comquat Power Smoothie with a soy protein boost. Sorry, your card's been declined. Declined? But I just paid my bill. Here, try one of these. Put your hands in the air and step away from the plastic. Whoa! Ooh. Ah! This is totally unfair. Prison stripes are so not matching my shoes. W-shaped handcuffs? Oh, now I know who's to blame for this bogus mall incarceration. Sam, it's Clover. I'm never gonna believe what just happened. Whatever it is, it can't be worse than being attacked by a computer virus. Oh, yeah? Try a round of whoop tumble. Jerky Jerry and give him a piece of our minds! Hello, Clover. So lovely to hear from you. Hey, mister! Savor your salad for someone who's buying! Yeah! We know what you and your sneaky organization are up to. Oh. Making our lives miserable so we'll be spies for you! I have no idea what you're talking about. It's against Whoop policy to interfere with civilians' lives. Regardless, I'd be happy to help you out of your current situations. Provided you help me as well. I can't believe it! We're being blackmailed by a bald geezer! That's balding. And trust me, you won't regret your decision. Decision? What decision? <laughs> right now, it's time to start your official whoop training. This is so bogus! You're actually forcing us to be spies? Exactly what kind of training are we talking about? Over the next 48 hours, you'll be instructed in extreme martial arts, high-tech weapon and equipment use, and super-secret surveillance techniques. In short, it's going to be challenging, grueling, and extremely demanding. So, what's the upside? Well, we do get to see Tad in a flight suit. <laughs> ah! Speaking of suits... Here are your spy uniforms. Now let's begin, shall we? Time to focus, ladies. I'm going to show you a foolproof whoop cutter called Blender of Death. Observe the five lethal speeds. Okay, now you show me Blender of Death. Hey, this is kind of fun. Bring on the baddies, Jer. And the tropical fruit. <laughs>
a success rate looking now, Jer. Most impressive. Perhaps you can be spies after all. That is, if you're willing to work on the rest of your skills in the field. Yeah! Consider it done! <laughs> then consider yourselves Woof agents. Here are your ID cards. <laughs> Duty calls. Huh? Well, tell it to call back later. We've been up all night. Sorry, spy missions wait for no one. to take a sea cruise. Me too. Oh, me three. Congratulations on your training success, spies. <laughs> it's gonna be a pleasure working with you. <gasps> the pleasure's all mine. <clears throat> Are there any whoop rules against inner office romance, Jer? <sighs> now for the mission. There has been a number of mysterious disappearances in the greater Los Angeles area. One of them being rock star Rob Hartthrob. <gasps> It's only like my special celeb soulmate. Oh, <laughs> I get all misty just thinking about his songs. We'll save the sobbing because you'll be exploring a missing celebrity of a different sort. Peppy Wolfman. Like I've said before, a peppy pet is a happy pet. Hey, I've heard all about this guy. He's a pet motivational speaker. He specializes in cheering up animals of the rich and famous. Or at least he was up until yesterday before vanishing from his Beverly Hills office. We want you to investigate and see if the disappearances are related. And now for a spy's best friend, the gadgets. We have the fountain pen microphone, the monocle magnifier, and my favorite, the ascending ascot cable. <clears throat> Jer, if we're gonna do this whole spy thingy, we're gonna have to do it with some style. I took the liberty of whipping up a few new designs. Hmm, I'm not sure. Okay. Hmm, oh my. No! No, no, no. I don't think so. Ooh. Um. Oh, now that's more like it. Very well, then. Awesome! Now for your new, albeit unorthodox, gadgets. The com powder, a communication device supercomputer, discreetly concealed in the shape of a makeup compact. The expandable cable bungee belt, a laser lipstick. Oopsie. <clears throat> the ever-expanding bubble gum, the suction cup bottom drill heel go-go boots. Oh, Trey, you're oh chic. The heat sensor 6000 infrared motion detector sunglasses. Wow, <laughs> yeah. cool -yo. The molecular separating perfume. The tornado in a can of hairspray. Awesome! The super foaming pomade grenade. And of course, the jetpack backpacks. So, Jerry, where's our super cool oh. personal transport device to get us to Peppy's office? Uh, just leave that to me. Okay, Spy Sisters, it's mission time. Whoa, 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 time out, Clover. Don't you think we should try to look a little less like Team Spies? Ah, Disguises are a great idea, Sammy. Only, how does this compounder even work? Only one way to find out. Oh, now that's more my speed. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Voila, the perfect Beverly Hills family. 
All we need now is a pet. with that thing, Alex. It's not a thing. It's Orky. Well, not exactly what I had in mind, but I guess he'll do in a pinch. It's scandalous! Mr. Wolfman isn't seeing any of his animal clients today. I'm gonna have to ask you all to leave. But I have to see Peppy this instant. Crocus is so depressed he hasn't spoken to me in days. If we're gonna figure out what happened to Peppy, we have to get past that receptionist. Then we're gonna need a five-alarm diversion. Hey, Alex, why don't you put that pig to good use? Okay, Yonky. Wanna be a deputy spy? Go hog wild for Mommy! <laughs> Just the key to get us in. Ah! Whoa! Hey! Who's getting all grumpy with my bag? Let's see. If I were a clue, where would I hide? stuff is a lot harder than I thought. Hmm. If only Whoop had a time machine, we could travel back to yesterday and see what happened to Peppy in person. Maybe we can. Come on, give me a boost. <laughs> if I can hack into the surveillance system with our comm powder, maybe we can see what happened yesterday. <laughs> Sorry, wrong plug. <laughs> Us. Except, is it possible he got even hairier? Oh, how dare he walk away? Doesn't he know we're trying to spy on him? Let's fast forward and see if he comes back. Whoa! <laughs> Who's that overly processed cosmetic counter disaster? I think it might actually be Peppy. Why does he look so different? Hey, what's that in his hand? I don't know. It looks like some sort of receipt. And check out the weird symbol on it. Wonder what it stands for. Hmm. You let think you can go anywhere you please. Now let me in or I'll break the door down. It's the receptionist and she's majorly chaffed. <laughs> Peppy is not going to be very happy about this. Where'd they go? <laughs> Good thinking, Alex. These suction cup bottom go-go boots are the bomb. Ooh, fashionable and functional. <laughs> Besides that one bad hair moment, I'd say our first mission was way cool. Real much? No, there's a totally secret spy sesh going down here? Uh, no, Clover. That's kind of the point. <laughs> Come on, girls! they are, they've got the same weird symbol on them we saw in the receipt Peppy was holding. Hey, you're right, Sammy. Do you crave uh -huh. cool? Do you long to be more popular at school? Do you desire the joy of being a 10 over the pain of 
being a Jew. Then the Fabulizer is the process for you. gone out and gotten this gnarly treatment. Hmm? Hello, girls. How's the mission going? Freaky! On account of before he went missing, the Pepster was fabulized. Fabulized? Put through a trendy machine for insecure people and given a majorly unoriginal look. Though I'm extremely disturbed by the idea that someone would actually employ a machine to alter their looks, I must say you three have done excellent spy work. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree, Tad? Absolutely, Jerry. Their findings are... Most interesting. What's even more interesting is, like, we're totally beginning to dig the spy life. Uh, so if you ever want to get together over a latte or swap spy stories... Hmm. I'm so there. Hmm. Oh, no! We're late for school! On the contrary, Whoop has high-tech holograms standing in for you. No one will even notice you're missing. Real stealthy, no one will notice a thing! Listen, we really need to get back to Bev High ASAP or we're dead meat! I'll send the whoop jet right away. Coolio, when you say right away, you mean right away. And since you have a trigonometry chest this afternoon, I've taken the liberty of picking up the foremost authority on the subject to get you up to speed on your way to class. Thanks for covering our backs, Jerry. <gasps> Wait! I forgot a wiki! Don't worry, Alex. I'll send an agent out to retrieve him. Cheerio! Whoa! Boss, we've got a problem. Hmm. Then I suggest you take care of it. <laughs> so, let me get this straight. The square of the length of the side opposite the right angle, which we call the hypotenuse, is equal to the sum of the squares of the lengths of the two other sides? Mm. Couldn't have said it better myself, Samantha. Whoa! What was that? We've just been hit by something! Whoa! Check out that ship! It's like all sorts of Mega Mod! Try Mega Martian! I told you aliens had something to do with this! Looks like autopilot time's over, girls. We're gonna have to do some defensive driving and quick! Well, luckily, I got my permit last week!
by Ms. Scritch. No! Hmm. Uh-oh. Better turn this express into a local. I'm sorry to report that the infiltrators got away, sir. Really? Tell me more about these spies. Are they dangerous? Well, sir, they're not actually professional spies. Not professional spies? Interesting. So, what are they? They are three teenage girls from Beverly Hills. <laughs> oh, how fabulous. And you let them get away? Yes, sir. They disappeared into thin air. Great shame for you, sir. It doesn't matter. After tonight, we will be at full capacity, and Earth will no longer be a concern for us. Now, hand me some more seaweed wrap. <gasps> Fine! Just drop it on me! Our tutor, that test was a total breeze. Yet another perk of our secret spy gig. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Everyone looks so different. Yeah, in a freakishly identical kind of way. I can't believe they're all falling for that lame look. Yesterday. This is the face I was born with. Whatever. I'd still ask for a total refund. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you may think you're all that mandy, but we're way cooler than you because we're undercover spies. <laughs> Over. If you tell anyone our secret, Jerry will ship us off to Siberia. Oh, it'd be worth the trip just to see the look on Mandy's fake face. Psst, hey, he's over here. Great costume, Jer. Only, why are you wearing a hairnet when you've got no hair? I have some hair, Clover. On the mission front, I've been able to make some headway. It turns out all of the missing people had the Fabulizer treatment prior to vanishing. What a coincidence! 
person who tried to take us down was also fabulized. Oh, my. Thank you, Sam, for this information. Girls, I think it's high time we found out who's behind these fabulizer machines. Woo! That sounds like fun! We can pick a fabulized person and tail them until they disappear. And I know just the person we could follow. Mandy. Ew! Couldn't we, like, pick someone less repulsive? <laughs> a classmate is a perfect choice. Mandy it is. <gasps> duty calls. Kitchen duty, that is. I have cookies in the oven. <gasps> you may think you've gotten away with vandalizing the school, Sam. But I've got the goods on you. Mm. I'll expect to see you in my office first thing tomorrow morning to receive your punishment. And trust me, it won't be a light one. I can't believe it. I've never gotten in trouble like this before. Tragically unfashionable and a criminal. Guess they're letting anyone into Bev High these days. Room. Too bad we can't see what's going on. Well, let's see what the heat sensor 6000 sunglasses have to say about that. No! Time to get some beauty sleep. Not like I need it. Hmm. She's out cold. Now's our chance to slip inside. of night. Whatever Mandy's up to, she seems to have started a new trend.
To be safe, we better try to blend in with the fabulized people. Do we have to? I mean, what fun is blending in with the crowd when you're totally used to standing out? Hmm. Fine. It's a good thing I always carry an emergency makeup kit. Ooh. Way to go, Clover. I don't even recognize myself. Let's just solve this case as quickly as possible so we can go back to our normal, much hotter selves. It's officially time to call Jerry. <gasps> He's not answering. Forget Jerry. Let's send a distress call to Tad. I know he'll save us. Help! Help! <laughs> Hello, Tad. What's tickling your funny bone? Oh, uh, nothing, sir. I'm just enjoying being a whoop agent and helping rid the world of evildoers. Yeah, I see. You haven't heard from the girls, have you? I'm growing very concerned about them. Not a pee. <laughs> Strange. Well, if you do hear anything, let me know immediately. You have my word, Jerry. Don't worry about those amateurs, Jerry. I'll take care of them personally. <laughs> Completely barren except for that thing. Oh. Fabulous! Okay, that does not look like a very friendly place. Get ready! I think we're about to dock! Fabulous! behind that door. Just want you guys to know one thing. Welcome to Fabutopia, the newest frontier in fabulized living, where all of your whims and desires are catered to. This place seriously rocks! Enjoy our full-service spa, sweatless gym, air-conditioned indoor beach, all-day nightclub, and gourmet zero-calorie restaurant. Best of all, everything is connected by luxurious red carpet-lined catwalks so you can strut in style from location to location with utter panache. So, this mission is about people being transported to a luxury hotel in outer space? Isn't it great? We should have become spies a whole lot sooner. Guys, look! There's Peppy Wolfman and Rob Hearthrob playing beach volleyball together. <gasps> oh. <gasps> Fabulous. <gasps> Not Rob, too? <gasps> now we have to find the tasteless creep behind all of this. <sighs>
You've all been summoned here by my hood ornament, Beacon, which activated the hypnotizing microchips inside your cheekbones. I assure you, the journey was well worth it. Fabutopia is exactly the type of elite oasis where people who look like us deserve to live. Fabulous! You see, because my awkward childhood appearance kept me out of the hidden crowd, I cultivated this perfect look in an effort to become a famous model. But no one appreciated me. Until now, with all of you adopting a fabulized look, I'm finally vindicated, and I can blow up the earth and eliminate the non-fabulous. Blow up earth? Are you completely cracked? Uh, what I meant to say was fabulous. Blowing up our home planet sounds fabulous. You are not fabulous. You are intruder! Then seize her! Fabutopia is a guest list only venue. Yuri, how did a nice henchman like you ever hook up with a creepy uber villain like Babu? When I was Cosmo, then you helped me practice my space walk. Fashionable walk very important in the Russian space program. And in return, Yuri was kind enough to build me Fabutopia and the Fabulizer. Fabulizer is more like it. I mean, hello, conformity is so three years ago? Yeah, because when everyone looks the same, beauty has no meaning. Well, I don't care what you girls think, which is why I'm not going to waste my perfect look on you. <laughs> then why are we strapped into your freaky machines? Because with a few simple adjustments, the Fabulizer can make you look incredibly unfabulous. Unfabulous? Undateable. Unattractive times ten. Hideous beyond your wildest dreams. <clears throat> oh, on second thought, why don't you go ahead and sign me up for a lifetime Fabutopia membership? I'm afraid it's too late for that. <laughs> Tell them the rest of your wicked plan, boss. Ah, oh, yes. After I give you the ultimate bad face day, I'm going to launch you into space where you'll be stranded forever! You'll never get away with this! Nice line, Spy Girl. Now who's being unoriginal? Hmm. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Fabulous. Agents. Dad! Oh, how romantic! You were crushing on me so much, you simply had to come and save me? <laughs> I mean, to save us. <laughs> save you? <laughs> I don't think so. But you have to save us. Yeah, we're like fellow spies. Exactly my problem. Until you three came along, I was Jerry's number one agent. Now you're in my way. So I'm gonna let you get jettisoned and take credit for saving the day. Ugh, I can't believe someone who seems so nice could turn out to be such a lame-o. Naive much? Apparently you've never heard of a double agent. Farewell, ladies. <laughs> That's it! No more Miss Nice Spy! Ugh. 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 If only we could reach a gadget! <gasps> Come on, spies, answer. I'll never be able to forgive myself if something terrible has happened to those girls. Hmm? Your creator, you're a thing of rare beauty. <laughs> it's a shame I have to blow you up. Freeze, fashion boy! <gasps> you may have outsmarted those high school girls, but you don't stand a chance against a top agent like me! <laughs> You're what passes for a top agent these days? I see more game in a vegetarian restaurant. Let's see how you deal with this. Utopia Spa Treatment! <laughs> uh, hey! What's going on? 
<laughs> Hold it right there, has been. There aren't going to be any explosions on our watch. <gasps> You? Oh, wow, Tad. You're doing a real bang-up job on the mission you hijacked from us. I don't understand. How did you girls escape? Let's just say a gadget is an agent's best friend. Now, get ready to have your butts kicked across the galaxy. Not for show, Cupcake. It's for boring into the Earth's core before it detonates. Percent extra teeth can't handle. Ah! Well, if I can still see, I'd imagine Babu's getting away right now. <laughs> Is that the only thing about to take off? Help! I have an acute fear of being tied to exploding projectiles. destiny, close to the stars, flying through outer space like a shooting star. My journey was short, but sparkling. Hello? Overdramatic much? What? Who's there? I've seen better acting on daytime TV. Good thing there are some real spies around to save your butt. Bye-bye, little spies. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta hand it to him. He sure knows how to escape in style. Okay, forget Babu. We have to defuse this bomb. What are you waiting for? A written invitation? Hurry up! I've heard about all I want to hear out of your pie hole for one day. <laughs> that control panel might be our ticket to shutting this thing down. <laughs> Not the desired effect. We've got about half a minute to figure this out before we splat into Earth. Uh, hey, maybe we can use the Whoop employee manual to stop it. Good thinking. See if there's a chapter on bombs. Oh. <gasps> okay, either Jer hired a chimpanzee to type this up, or it's written in some kind of weird Whoop code. Don't worry, guys. I think we can still use it. <laughs> Before this, the only book that's ever saved my life has been my little black book. When you're done celebrating, you might want to check out the collision course you've just put us on. Oh, no! Yeah? What do we do now? Uh, prepare for impact! Hello, agents. Need a lift? Jerry? All aboard! Hey! What about me? Send us a postcard when you finally get to wherever you're going. Ahem. Clover? Ugh. Okay. Oh! Whoa! Oh! <laughs> I'm not sure what kind of heat you're packing under the hood, Jerry, but we gotta make it back to the space station before that bomb does. Don't you worry about that. We're packing whoop power. What? Hey! Here in its 
to take more than a public service announcement to get through these dimwits. You're right! We've got to take out Fabu's homing beacon! Going on. One fabulous decadent hood ornament going down. Hey. Huh? What? Oh, what's happening? What are you losers doing here? Look! Oh. And with all this extra cargo, the spaceship is too slow to help you. You'll have to use your jetpacks, girls. I don't suppose we have a choice in the matter. Of course not. Cheerio! <laughs> features and I have gotten away home free! <laughs> then again, maybe not. Congratulations on a job well done, girls. Despite a few bumps in the road, your first mission was a success. Thanks, Jerry. That was, like, totally our pleasure. Even if you did force us into it. I admit, there was a certain amount of coercion on my part, so if you don't wish to continue spying, I understand. It's your choice. Well, it's definitely been difficult. Hmm. <gasps> but it's also been the most exciting thing that's ever happened to us. And it's like, because of this whole spy thingy that we met each other and became friends. Yeah. So, if you're willing to put up with us, I guess we're willing to put up with you. Yeah, Jer. Consider us whooped for life. It's a deal. So, what should we do about all the fabulous people? Yeah, I mean, as much as it would please Clover, we can't let Mandy know we're secret agents. It's no longer an issue. Whoop has erased their memories and restored their faces. Speaking of faces, whatever happened to that totally cute, totally backstabbing Tad? Tad is currently being disciplined for his conduct with the rest of our two-bit criminals in the Whoop Containment Facility. Oh. Sorry, boss. Ooh, that's just what he deserves. I wish all the dudes on Maddox could get the same treatment. Speaking of dudes, allow me to introduce you to Tad's replacement, Vincent. Ah, I hope he's a babe. Lober, didn't you learn your lesson? No office questions. 
Bonjour. Wow! Hi there! He's from our Paris office. Looks like Sam's the only one with excitement in her future. Hello? Hello, this is Peppy Wolfman. I hear you have a pig that's been through a traumatic experience. I'd <sighs> love to discuss it over lunch. <laughs> awesome! Hello? Hi, Clover. Rob Hartthrob here. No way! Rumor has it you're a big fan of my lyrical poetry. How does dinner and a serenade sound? <gasps> Heck a yes! I guess all's well that ends well. All may not be well at school. I still need to see Ms. Scritch. Well, in that case, you'd better take the quick way down. Cheerio! <laughs> <laughs> Just one of the joys of the job. be late for my punishment excuse me are you samantha yes but i'm in a bit of a rush i've got a date with detention hmm that doesn't sound like the sam i know in fact i've just reviewed your academic records and was quite impressed and as your new principal i look forward to having you as one of my students wow lucky break sammy yeah what are the odds about a zillion to one a coincidence like this just screams whoop. Good point. Which makes me wonder, what do you think happened to Ms. Gritch? Hello, students. M -m my name is... <laughs> M -m -m Ms. Scritch. Huh. Guess we'll never know. Ew! Oh, crud! I hate when there's a squash bug on my windshield! Hey, newbies! Wash your ass my whip like Peranto! No puffs! I hope you like extra foam. What else? Just get it clean! Clover, <laughs> what are you doing? Getting Mandy back when she least expects it. With a little help from the pomade grenade! mission for you. A giant lobster is attacking the eastern coastline of Japan. Uh, sounds really scary, Jer. Unfortunately, I have an urgent Manny Patty mission this afternoon. Yeah, and I have a ton of schoolwork to do. And I have to give Wanky a bath. I'm afraid you'll leave me no choice, girls. 